Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome back to our online class. Right. So, as in the previous class, we had completed our chapter number two. Right. Uh, I had given you the all the question answers, short answers, long answers, as well as the picture study. So today we are going to start our new chapter, chapter number three, and the topic of the chapter is animals. That is birds. Right. Okay. So, bird is a type of animal. or it comes under the category of animals all right there are different types of bird around us all right there are different types of birds around us. wherever we see in the sky we see the birds are flying here and there and all are of different shape size color why because many many birds are flying over in the sky right okay birds are of various colors and size as i have said just now that we can see many many birds flying in the sky with the different colors as well as with their different sizes right because all the birds are not same okay they don't uh, their size their color are not same that's why we say that there are bird, uh, birds of various colors as well as their size right now see sparrow myna parrots pigeon quails are some of the birds that we commonly see in the cities right pigeon sparrow parrot also we can see right okay sparrow myna parrot pigeon quails are some of the birds that we commonly see in our cities eagles kites vultures and cow and crows can also be seen sometimes yeah we also can see the eagles or the kites or the vultures uh, right uh, dangerous uh, birds okay uh, sometimes now we will come to the main topic about birds birds have wings yes without the help of wings will the able will the birds be able to fly no so birds fly with the help of their wings so birds have wings and most birds can fly most birds most many 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 means there are only few birds who cannot fly right all the birds have two feet see the picture here i have made a picture of a bird right i have made the picture of a bird now see what is this this is the feet and how many feet are there two right so this and this makes what their feet so how many feet are there two feet okay then birds have wings wings here this one this part is known as wings which helps them to fly okay their birds have two wings okay and the beak beak means what the mouth of the bird the mouth of the bird is known as beak from where they eat food right then birds do not have teeth birds don't have the teeth to chew or bite right it is their beak which helps them to chew and eat okay and birds body and wings are covered with different types of feather now see the, all this whatever is present in their body these are known as what they are feather the whole body of the bird is covered with what feathers and this is all okay. right it is a picture of bird birds have two legs birds have wings birds have beak they don't have teeth okay they have the body is fully covered with what feathers and should all next now we'll be talking about the beaks of the bird all the birds do not have same kind of beak all the birds they are not same so their uh, beak also are not same okay they have different different kinds or different different types of beaks so we'll today we'll be talking about the beaks of the bird <clears throat> beaks of the birds 
right so a bird uses its beak to catch and eat the food it also uses it to feed its young ones build nest and clean itself the type of the beak that a bird has depends upon the kind of food it eats and you should not now see birds uses their beak why to catch and eat food to catch okay the, they use their beak to catch the food as well as for eating purpose another it also uses it to feed its young ones we see no birds in the nest what they do they bring the food with their uh, beak and then we come to their uh, when they come to their uh, nest they feed their babies or the young ones from that beak itself have you ever seen all yes if you have not seen sometimes uh, see the nest of the birds nearby not the not all tall trees don't climb the trees and all no you can see the nest uh, in the small small plants trees also then you see there how they feed or you can see the video in youtube also how the birds are feeding their young ones with the help of their beaks right okay these birds since they don't have the hands with the help of their leg and with the help of their beak they make their nest also right they don't have hands so don't think that we are making their nest no they make their nest by themselves with the help of their beaks right and also clean itself whenever they get any kind of dirt in their body what they do with the help of their beak they clean themselves right and the type of the beak that a bird has depends upon the kinds of food they eat now many birds or different different birds have different different beak how why how and why all the birds they do not eat the same food right there are different different birds who eats different different food so their beaks are also uh changing like that or uh, we can see uh, we can say that their beaks are of that kind of what they eat the food right let us see point number 1 point number 1 says that short strong and hard beak number 1 number 1 says that strong okay strong short and hard beak okay strong short and hard beak now birds such as birds such as sparrow and pigeon they have strong short and hard beaks to crush and eat the nuts and seeds now sparrow and pigeon what they eat they eat seeds and nuts right seeds and nuts and they are strong so to break them or to crush them what they need they need strong short and the hard beak their beaks are very hard why to crush the seeds and the nuts understood or not so we can say that strong short and hard beaks are seen where they are seen on sparrow and pigeon right we can see strong short and hard beaks in where sparrow and pigeon because they eat what seeds and nuts and for eating them they have to crush them and because of crushing them the seeds has to become strong short and hard understood okay so point number 2 says that strong sharp strong sharp and hooked hooked beak hook means what little curved like this curved okay mm. birds such as vulture eagle hawks have strong sharp and hooked beaks to tear and eat flesh 
why their uh, beaks are strong sharp and hooked because they eat what flesh and for eating flesh the flesh or the meat has to be teared right so for that purpose their beaks are what strong sharp and hooked and they should to tear the flesh and eat them understood all so where do you find this kind of beaks like uh, strong sharp and hooked we find them in what eagle vultures why because they eat what they eat flesh right so point number 3 we say that strong strong pointed strong pointed and chisel shell chisel shaped beak now do you know what is chisel chisel means a sharp pointed uh, material which is helping them to cut or dig and make holes like the carpenters use this type of things to make holes in the wood and join the other uh, wood right for making furniture okay now birds such as woodpecker and hoopers have a strong pointed and chisel shaped beak why now see here the woodpecker makes holes in the trunk tree trunk with the help of this beak and pulls out and eats the insect now a hooper uses its beak to pick up insects from the ground now see they have what strong pointed and chisel shaped beak why because they are able to make the holes in the tree trunk okay inside the trees also insects are there okay and underground also the uh, when this hoop uh, hoopy they dig the ground okay they gets the insects then they pull it out right so where do you find this type of beak strong pointed and chisel set we find these things in woodpecker and hoopy woodpecker because they will uh, woodpecker makes holes in the wood tree trunk to take out the insect and hoopy what they do they dig the uh, holes in the ground and then they take out the insects and eat themselves right so strong pointed and chisel shaped beaks are seen where woodpecker and hoopy right okay now we'll see broad and flat beak number 4 types of beak is broad and flat beak what is this broad and flat beak now we usually have these things in our house let, let us read this the uh, water birds such as duck and geese have broad and flat beak these beaks takes them in the muddy water along with the insects worms small fish and small water plants they have a comb like structure in their beak to drain out the muddy water now you can see the picture here okay you can see the picture here this is uh, this is broad and flat beak you can see the beak of the duck beak of the goose and comb like structure inside the beak of the duck see comb like it is like comb okay and you see uh, here also pointed here also pointed here also pointed that means why it is there you know because they are found usually in the muddy waters okay they are playing there they are uh, always uh, in the muddy things okay where muddy water where they can get the insects very easily and when they eat that muddy water from that hole the muddy things mud or the muddy water are coming out only the insect will get inside from their mouth understood from their beak 
right okay so where do we usually find this broad and flat beak we find them in where the duck we find them in duck goose and astra okay all right okay. next we see broad long and the sharp edged beak now we'll see the next type of beak is broad number 5 point says that uh, broad okay long and sharp edged beak Okay. Now the next type of beak is broad, long, and sharp edge beak. Now let us see what is there. Fish eating birds such as pelicans catch fish, frogs, and crabs with these broad, long, and sharp edged beaks. Now, what type of birds do these broad, long, and sharp edged beak? They have. They have. The birds like pelican, they are found in the riverside, pond side, okay, where they can get the fish, the frogs, and the water plants. Okay, these are what fish eating birds, and uh, they catch what fish, birds, uh, sorry, fish, frog, and crab. Okay, so where where do we find this kind of big? That broad, long, and soft edge beak, we find them in birds like pelican. P E L I C A N. Pelican. Okay? We find this in where? Pelican bird, which is found nearby the river or the pond to eat fish, frog, as well as crab. Okay? And the last type of, and the last type of uh, beak is long and pointed beak. Point number six long and pointed beak long and pointed beak now long and the pointed beaks okay hummingbirds and sunbirds have a long and pointed beaks to suck nectar from the flowers these are the birds which feed them with the nectars of the flowers right so for this what happens their uh, beak has to be pointed and long okay to sunk itself inside the nectar and take the juice from the flower right so where do we this usually find long and pointed beak we find them in bee hummingbird as well as uh, sunbird okay Hummingbird and sunbird. Why? Because they feed on the juice or the nectars from flowers. Okay. So let us revise one more. That today we have learned the beaks of the birds. Okay. Beaks of the birds and birds have uh, beaks, wings, legs, and the body is covered with feathers. Different times, different kinds of. Right. Okay. So the beaks of birds. Point number one. Or what type of uh, beaks do they have? They have strong, short, and hard beak. The birds like sparrow and pigeon. They have this strong, short, and hard beak. Why? To eat seeds and nuts. Okay. In order to crush them, in order to break them into pieces, and then eat. The sparrow and pigeon have strong, short, and hard beaks. Right. Point number two says that strong, sharp, and hooked beak. Strong, sharp, and hooked beak. Now, eagle, vultures, etc. They feed upon flesh. That means meat. Okay. And in order to eat meat, the meat has to be teared. Right. And for that purpose, they have what? Strong, sharp, and hooked beak to tear the flesh and feed them. Right. Point number three says that 
strong pointed and chisel shaped beak strong pointed as well as chisel shaped that means it is a knife it is a type of knife and we usually use this knife only to cut or to break or to dig right so in that case woodpecker and hopi what they do they make the holes in the wood trunk and get the insects to feed themselves and hopi what they do they dig the mud and they get the insects from the underground mud and then they take out and then eat themselves right okay. point number 4 says that broad and flat beak we usually find these in the domesticated animals like duck goose okay duck and goose why because they uh, they are found near by the muddy waters where they can get their insects they can get their food easily so they go there and one more uh, point which uh, is added in this uh, topic that uh, broad and flat beak is that duck and goose has a hole in their beak in order to take out the dirty or the muddy waters from their body right point number 5 says that broad long and sharp edge beak now birds like pelican they are fish eating bird fish eating they eat what fish they eat frog as well as uh, small water plants small small water plants so they are found in the river side or the pond next last is long and pointed beak long and pointed beak the birds like bee hummingbird okay bee hummingbird and the sun bird they have long and pointed beak why to uh, put or sunk a uh, uh, dunk in the flowers to get the juice that is nectar from the flower and they feed themselves with this nectar or the fruit juice okay juice so in the next class we will be doing the feeds of birds okay so today this points go through the book go through the chapter so that it will be more clear to you right thank you